Uh, hi, my name is Mergani Saleh. I'm uh, currently based in Dubai. I'm a digital artist uh, involved in producing um, a lot of digital artwork for the Sudanese Revolution. Uh, absolutely, what we're, we're seeing since um, early, or sorry, late December, early January is definitely a revolution. Um, the people of uh, Sudan have, uh, you know, come out in a lot of um, numbers and force to to bring about change uh, in Sudan. We've uh, been living under um, uh, dictatorship for the last uh, 30 years under uh, Omar al-Bashir. So um, the people felt that it was time to bring about change and um, they were very frustrated uh, with the, the current uh, political, political and economic climate. And uh, this is definitely a revolution and it's, uh, it's already bringing about uh, results. Um, the moment uh, uh, we, we heard of the Bashir um, uh, coup or his, um, him falling from uh, power, well, it, was, uh, it was not uh, the, the reaction we, we would have liked because uh, when the, the military council announced um, his, um, uh, his topplement, we, we saw his, his vice president, his, his number two. So immediately we, we, we started to see signs of uh, the deep state uh, in Sudan and how uh, the military wasn't uh, going to hand over power back to the people that easily. So it, it was, um, it was a, you know, a bittersweet moment. You know, he's out of the picture. Some say he's still involved um, in the background. Um, but um, we realize that it's going to be a long, you know, a long journey for us to, uh, to uproot uh, the old regime. The consensus regarding what sparked the, um, the revolution is uh, the price of bread. Uh, there was a, a hike in the price of bread and uh, um, it's said that uh, the city of uh, Adbara is where uh, the protests first started. And uh, from there it, it sort of uh, spread um, uh, very fast across uh, the whole of um, you know, uh, Sudan, you know, mainly uh, Khartoum and other major cities. And, and uh, you know, the, re the revolution quickly took shape. Um, of course, the, the regime were trying to, uh, to, uh, to play down the, what, what was happening on the streets and they were quickly um, dispersing any, any crowds or any groups of people. But um, um, people gained confidence and um, uh, they, you know, they, they, they came out in huge numbers and uh, this was demonstrated with the, the peaceful sit-in that uh, started at the military headquarters um, from the 6th of April. The, the role of art at the sit-in was uh, extremely uh, important. I mean, what happened from uh, early, uh, you know, from the 6th of April was an explosion of, you know, art in all forms. And uh, what uh, quickly uh, took, uh, took uh, shape was, uh, you know, murals being, um, being painted on, on walls. Uh, you know, the, the sit-in area, you know, um, was a, a you know, very, very big space. Um, in terms of square footage, so there was a lot of um, walls, a lot of uh, areas where artists could uh, express themselves, and uh, there was a you know big competition for for you know uh, amateur and professional artists to, to you know to get a hold of some space to you know express themselves and um, you know paint murals. There was also um, um, graffiti and even art uh, that was uh, you know done on on the pavement and on the on the streets. So any any uh, you know any piece of space that artists uh, could get a hold of you know they uh, they uh, they try to express themselves and and this is you know this is a, a country where you know for the last thirty years uh, the people felt very repressed and um, they had a lot of you know expression which uh, which they wanted to um, to release and this was uh, you know frowned upon with the with the old. Um, you know, military regime with, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, Islamic um, as well, you know, hint. Uh, so, you know, art in a lot of forms was, was very, uh, you know, uh, frowned upon and especially, you know, political uh, art and uh, revolutionary, revolutionary art. Uh, this, this was something that was unheard of uh, uh, back uh, during the, the Bashir days. So, so uh, you know, this freedom of uh, expression was, was very, welcome and um, you know a lot of a lot of people made use of it and also other art forms you know music and and uh, sport and and a lot of uh, you know a lot of other expression that was was uh, was being held at this sit-in and it was really um, 
like a small utopia and, and um, a vision of what, what uh, a lot of youth in Sudan want, you know, the new Sudan to be. Absolutely, the, the, the space uh, was, was very, you know, very beautiful for those who, you know, were privileged to, to, uh, to visit the sit-in. You know, it was um, a very colorful uh, space and uh, like I said, every, um, you know, er any uh, empty area you could, um, you could look at, you would find some form of art, um, you know, whether on the, on the floors, on the walls, even as high, there was even a museum that was, uh, they called it, you know, the museum. Uh, for uh, sort of artifacts that people, re uh, you know, the, the protesters recovered from the armed forces. So they used to hang, um, you know, um, uh, military uniforms, helmets, boots. They even uh, hung up a, uh, a motorcycle and, uh, you know, pieces of, uh, of uh, armored vehicles that, you know, were used to, uh, you know, to, to run over protesters and so on. So, uh, uh, you know, art in all its form uh, were, were expressed around the sit-in and, you um, and to show you the 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 impact the art had um, at the sit-in, um, when it was violently dispersed on on the third of June, um, one of the first things the, the the armed forces did was to erase the art. So um, what uh, what I and a lot of other people have been doing is to try and and uh, preserve that art. And with some of my pieces, uh, my mosaics, my my latest one is is. Um, is uh, grouped with all the the pictures of of uh, the art pieces that were that were photographed at the sit-in, and I managed to put them all into one uh, one uh, big uh, mosaic, uh, you know, made up of thousands of pictures. And this is uh, something to to preserve the art. But even today, uh, what's good to see is that um, people have managed to uh, you know to re. Uh, re-express and re, uh, uh, redo their art pieces um, around, you know, around uh, Khartoum in Sudan and, and other areas. So it, it's it's not it's now not just reserved to that sit-in site. Now it's it's all over the country. Main pieces that uh, that have been popularized um, during this revolution are uh, uh, mosaics that uh, are I digitally um, put together. So I I pick themes for the mosaic so there's one for the art pieces that I just mentioned that's my latest piece so um, I gather a you know thousands of photos and I um, I pick one main uh, photo to you know to act as the um, as the you know the cover piece for the mosaic and then I build you know using special software I build the small pixels and make it up of other you know other smaller pictures so i have one for the artwork i have one uh for the for the women for the you know the that we call the kandakas you know the nubian uh you know w nubian warriors so that that uh, mosaic is made up of all the women um that uh, that have been involved in the revolution and and that have contributed i've also done one some you know some very violent ones for uh, al bashir which is made up of um all the violence and also pictures of the martyrs and and you know the brutality of his regime and also one for uh, Hamdan Hemeti you know the leader of the the rapid support forces and that's also made up of all the violence that we saw at the June 3rd um, uh, massacre that took place so th those are the, the 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 themes of the mosaics that I build and I also make a videos for them to um, and with you know with popular revolutionary music for for uh, you know the audience to appreciate them more there's been so many pieces of art that that uh, that that I've uh, witnessed during this revolution that's been powerful i don't think i can put uh, my finger on just one piece there's so many talented artists that that have come out um, and also the the established artists uh, so there's you know there's murals there's uh, political cartoons there's um, uh, you know uh, uh, different you know different uh, paintings. So there's there's so many different uh, pieces of art that have come out, and I don't think I um, you know time will you know tell. I think when the revolution is is uh, finally over, we can maybe go back and and say that you know this one piece was um, was uh, was you know the most um, uh, epic or or popular. Uh, but for me personally, I, I appreciate all all the art that's coming out, and and for me as well, you know, I I I was an amateur at the beginning of this um, 
revolution and uh, I've gained a lot of confidence and I've been encouraged by a lot of family and friends to um, to express you know myself with my artwork and and that's why I picked the, the mosaics you know I was looking at what the different artists were 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 coming out with and I just wanted to to make um, a piece that would combine the actual photos you know the horrific photos or you know or the or the um, the positive photos and put them in one uh, one piece of uh, work and and for it to be uh, something artistic so that's how I came about uh, the idea of, of using these um, mosaics photo mosaics to uh, to um, you know to show to show um, the you know the different uh, you know stages of the revolution uh, social media has has been a, a you know major channel for uh, for uh, for for news and art uh, for the revolution um, you know uh, all you know all the the, the, the social media platforms uh, facebook whatsapp um, twitter they've they, they've played a very big role and that's why even the the military council um, have at times chosen to uh, you know to block um, internet access and social media access for the um, for the Sudanese people because of uh, of uh, of how um, you know big of a threat it, it, it they saw it to to their regime and um, from the early days of this revolution you know all the all the protests all the you know the sit-ins all the the different uh, you know major events were were uh, were were popularized, you know, through social media, and um, so it's been a very, very important platform. And um, and uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, uh, as well as other artists, been very lucky to have, you know, my my photos being, you know, shared, um, you know, um, thousands of times across, you know, across different platforms. And and I I feel very privileged. I believe that this revolution um, will give uh, artists a lot of confidence and. Um, we also want the media to portray, um, you know, Sudan in, you know, in, in a different, uh, in, in a different light from, from this revolution. You know, we want, uh, want it to be emphasized that this was a peaceful revolution and, and for the world to see all the, you know, all the, the beautiful um, art and, and beautiful expression that, um, that our people are capable of. And, and that's, that's the message that we want to send across. And of course, this is, uh, um, you know, given, you know, where Sudan is geographically, uh, you know, being in, uh, in North Africa and being, you know, uh, also part of the Arab world, it's, it's also a threat to other um, countries that have, uh, you know, similar military uh, regimes. And uh, this is, you know, uh, the reason why um, I believe uh, the media, uh, you know, the, the, the local media, you know, hasn't um, you know, shown this side of Sudan because they are, I think, afraid that um, this this can go viral and can affect um, you know the the popular thinking in other countries, and they may attempt to also um, go about um, a similar peaceful you know revolution to you know to topple a regime that you know they feel oppressed by. We've we've been uh, we've been linked to the to the Arab Spring. Um, a, a number of times, but we we like to think of, of this revolution as uh, as as uh, unique in its uh, in in its own way. In terms of art, it's uh, it's uh, very similar. Yeah, there's been uh, there was the same kind of uh, artistic uh, expression in Egypt, uh, in Syria. I believe in Syria, what sparked the you know the war was uh, some graffiti that was uh, that was spray painted on. On uh, on a wall, um, you know, relating to um, Bashar al-Assad. So um, all all of the, the you know the Arab world has um, you know talented uh, artists and um, and you know and, and also a lot of the uh, oppressed oppressed people who um, you know who want to um, to express themselves in a more you know uh, freer and democratic way. The, the most popular slogan for this revolution is the, the words Tosgut uh, Bas, which uh, translate uh, to just fall uh, in English. Uh, so it's been it's a very popular um, um, chant that's, uh, that's uh, repeated, you know, it, uh, a lot. But there's also a lot of uh, poetic, um, you know, chants and um, a lot of music that, uh, that has come out. 
uh, but uh, the the words uh, and also the the three the three words hurriya uh, salamu adala freedom uh, peace and uh, justice those uh, those three words as well they they've been painted on on walls and you know they've been expressed also in a lot of uh, art pieces just fall yeah just fall yeah yeah so yeah it's it's not good but it was, it's a very uh, very catchy phrase that was used um and it's still being used and and because we've we've had um um you know uh, two presidents that have been toppled so you know it's even uh, you know been used as a joke you know just fall once just fall twice just fall you know thrice so it's uh it's um it's it's a very very um you know humorous and as well as um catchy phrase yeah the the feeling during the the sit in days was was very you know euphoric um um you know there was um uh, loud music there was uh, like i said um um busy people in you know every corner you can you can uh, you can imagine um you know quickly um you know uh, finishing off uh, art pieces and uh, you know there would be like uh, discussion corners there would be uh, you know libraries there was even uh, you know a small um you know sort of nursery that was set up for for street children so you know every every corner of the of the city was would would uh, would would show uh, you know a side of uh, of uh, sudan that everybody you know uh, wanted to see and one of the most beautiful things is that it brought um it brought about um you know a lot of different ethnic groups uh to the city and so the you know the the marginalized people from darfur um you know were there and they you know they felt uh you know all the you know the brotherly love being with um with the sudanese people from uh, from khartoum and um and and you know to to sort of clear the air because one of the um, one of the, the the oppressive things that the government uh, was doing was to uh, was to uh, to cut off um you know the region of darfur and also you know to uh, to to carry out the, the you know the the, the genocide against the the, um, the ethnically uh, african um tribes there and you know they they felt a lot of um a lot of uh, hatred and um and uh, pain you know towards the you know the 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 arab uh, government uh, so th- this was a very a very nice way of uh, of uh, of them to come you know to 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 the capital and to meet you know other sudanese people and and to also you know express themselves um in in different ways and 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 to feel you know as part of one country yeah absolutely i think uh, the the military council um have, have really been um surprised and shocked by the by the reaction they've seen from the sudanese people you know there's a very high level of um of consciousness and the people are 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 very aware of um of the political um you know climate and as well we 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 have a lot of case studies from the region you know from Egypt from Libya from Yemen from Syria of all uh of all the ways a revolution can go wrong so we we have a um a sort of playbook that we can use and and make sure that we don't fall in the same uh traps and and we're not uh we're not tricked by the same you know military and uh, you know regional leaders into um into um having our revolution hijacked and um you know going back to square one so um i believe this you know this level of consciousness is what's going to to help us succeed and to have uh you know a um a democratic country which is um hopefully free of um you know um all the, the you know the military um Uh, people and uh, you know presidents that 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 we've been so used to the past 30 years